this one time, I was proper high on crack. And, you know, I was with my mates, we went to the shopping mall, and I just started smelling all these cookies. And bearing in mind, I was proper starving at the time. So we walk in the shopping mall, and I see this girl with, uh, with loads of cookie samples on a tray. And I went over to her, and naturally I just said, yo, can I try these cookies? And she said, mm. and then all of a sudden I just started trying to eat them, uh, one by one. And I weren't even chewing. Like, I just started swallowing them whole, one by one, bro. And the girl, was, she was terrified. She screamed, she ran away. And then she dropped the tray on the floor. And I, I got on my knees on the floor. And I started eating them one by one, off the floor, bro. I started eating cookies off the floor. <laughs> what? And, the, and then the security guards came in and started chasing us. And we, we picked it, me and my mates. We ran as quick as we could out of there. Do you even know what model it is? Are you even a man? I don't know anything about cars, shut up. Go on, what make? I know things that you don't. What, like pissing money away? You even got a job yet? Do you think there comes a point in your life where you take the leap and decide that this is who you want to be? Is that what you think? Well, working here you have to keep a lot of secrets. Even from your family. Yes, Coleman told me in no uncertain terms. My wife finds it very difficult. I don't think she trusts me. I think she's going to leave me. You're like one of those villains in Scooby-Doo, scaring away the people from the deserted fun fair. You know that feeling when you're, you're at the theme park and, and you're waiting in line for your favorite ride? And then, you get onto that ride. And then it just finishes like that. It's over. And then you have to get off and and look for the next look for the next ride. Do is be utterly and completely normal. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs>